Hey y'all, I'm back and we getting right into the video. I'm showing you the products we'll be using today to do a bleach bath. I know a lot of y'all have been asking, so I got you, sis. 40 to volume developer, four scoops of BW2 bleaching powder. For the developer, you just want to eyeball it. You want to have a good amount and you want to make sure there's more developer than there is bleach powder. You want to have a really good amount you want kind of like a thick consistency but not really it needs to be kind of like watery so it's not thick like pays as if you were to bleach not um we're not trying to process it that fast so as you see here you see how much i'm doing it's a good amount and then i'm going to show you the consistency you should have it um, looking like So the consistency should be kind of like cornbread or cake mix. When you bleach a notch, your consistency um, should be like cake frosting so it doesn't seep through the lace. Um, but for bleach baths, you want it um, like a little more watery. You want that developer to overpower the bleach. Um, the developer is what really... I mean, both of them, like, together, of course, is what, you know, activates the bleach bath. But the developer, you want to have more than the bleach. So that way, it doesn't process too fast, but it's still processing. And then, this is the amount of water. And how I go about determining my amount of water is by the wig. You want the whole wig to be able to be dipped into, you know the whole the bath you don't want it to be too less of everything and then now you don't have enough so you got to kind of eyeball it to know like okay if you know you got a 30 inch wig you know you need to have a good amount of everything so that it is effective so you just go by like you know the density go by the length um and you know just make sure you have enough product so that you can proficiently do the whole bleach bath And you see how watery and you see like that color that is how you know you are ready to go So there isn't any math um, to like my way of dipping it in the bath. The only thing I do highly recommend is to have a brush or comb. You want to comb and brush as you are dipping. As we all know, when you are coloring, especially water coloring, if you do not comb through or brush through the hair as you are dipping, you will find that you miss spots. So just comb, spread the hair. Um, if you do have like a brush like this, it does work really well. And also, you know, you want to detangle as you're doing it too. You want to make sure the color is thoroughly getting in there. Let me not say coloring, but the product, whatever you're doing, even if it's watercolor, bleach bath, whatever, you want to make sure the product is thoroughly getting through every spot. Um, and then as you see, the bleach bath is already working because if you can tell, it's already turning like, a chocolate brown but that's not the color I'm going for I need it to be lifted a little higher another tip cover the bleach bath it'll help trap the heat and the moisture in and help with processing and once you um you know let it sit i let mine sit for about an hour this is how it'll look um the sitting process depends on how 
high you want it lifted what is your overall end goal that you are going for you have to know that if you know you just want to brown then do maybe 15 20 minutes if you know that you have to color it it depends on if you're going to do like a burgundy or whatever the case you have to know coloring you have to know what your end goal is to know how long you need to let the wig sit in the bleach bath and now we're going to get into washing all of that out you want to make sure that you thoroughly wash the wig and cleanse it get all of that bleach out because you don't want it to still be processing you want to really take your time and wash it comb all of it out i'm going to use a clarifying shampoo which is by suave you can pick that up at any cvs walmart target suave is everywhere even it's even at the dollar store family dollar dollar tree you can get it everywhere and then i just picked up this new garnier whole blends repairing conditioner um it's called honey treasures and it repairs and mends dry and damaged hair y'all i love it i actually just literally used the whole bottle in one week um so i'm gonna go get some more but yeah that's really all um, i'm just gonna show you guys washing it and then you guys will see the end product And that's it, y'all. I hope this video helped y'all with doing your bleach bath. They are super easy, super fast to do. Do not take a lot of effort at all. But in the next video, I'll show y'all watercoloring and styling this wig. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.